Hello friends, KDT UXC here. My name is David and today I want to go over my Anytone 578 DMR VHF UHF radio kit um, and everything that's in here. This thing is pretty heavy. I kind of DIY'd a handle for it. However, I have everything that I need to hit repeaters locally and then go out wherever I need to and hit any repeater around and make some simplex contacts if needed. So let's get into it. I have an overhead rig here, so hopefully it'll work out well. So uh, first things first, this handle that I made, very simple, bunch of paracord. So just in case I need paracord, I have it uh, and some heavy duty carabiners. Um, I do carry a handheld radio with me, if I can get this thing off. It is the Radioddity GD88, also DMR radio. Um, great little radio, no issues with it. I like it a lot. The program software is a little finicky with it. Wish it was better, but maybe with updates it'll get better. I'll get into this in a second. Actually, might as well talk about it now. So the beauty about the um, 578 is it's a pretty high-tech radio and it has Bluetooth in it. So this is a Bluetooth receiver that allows me to pretty much ignore the screen and see everything that I need on this little screen. I can walk around my office, walk, leave the radio in my car, go outside to my camping site and hear everything, transmit, do whatever I need to. And the battery life is great and uses USB-C. Game changer. I love this little thing. Um, Right, let's just go into the radio right away and then I'll go into the accessories. In my opinion, the accessories are the exciting part. So, uh, I have a T-Way radio, uh, little telescopic VHF UHF antenna and it's actually really good. Uh, I'll, I can just set it up right here and shoot it up. Yeah, not, nothing crazy about it, however, uh, the antenna works really well. I have zero complaints about it. Um, big fan of that. I also have the signal stick antenna. This one typically goes on the uh, handheld. Uh, everything is BNC uh, compatible. Oh, my BNC got screwed on. Ugh. Goes there or goes here. Uh, no issues at all. Kind of weird and flimsy though. I'm not crazy about that. Um, so in here the the handset and the radio itself so the radio like i said is the anytone 578 it does take a little bit to boot up but once it's booted up it's super quick along with that i have the armalock cage uh link down below uh armalock pretty much i have most of my radios in those cages um the 578 is very expensive, so I figured might as well spend the additional $100, $150, get a cage for it to get it really protected, because I would hate for something like this to get destroyed from one fall. Um, and then, hopefully you can see this, um, the antenna cable is rerouted to be in the front, not from the back, and this is just another BNC adapter. This comes with the armor lock cage if you choose to pay for it. Um, so. I'll turn that off. And this pocket here uh, is my power pocket. And I just have my battery. It's a 12 volt battery uh, along with some fuses and everything has an Anderson power pole. I did have a, I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, it's something that I 3D print and I make and I sell or I will be selling if you guys are interested in it. Uh, basically, it's a five to one Anderson Power Pole fused uh, distribution box. So if you're interested in something like that, links down in the description, or actually leave me a comment, let me know that you want it, then I'll start producing them. All right, that's it for this pocket. Next up is this rear pocket. Um, I wish that I had a dark green one. However, I just used whatever I had handy. And this is where the meat and potatoes are. So first things first, I have a magnetic BNC antenna mount for a car. Uh, very useful because I can stick this on my car, my wife's car, wherever. And I have an antenna that is outside of my vehicle. I'll take that out. Uh, next up, I have some just regular, I think this is what is this 12 gauge um, cable just in case I need to make something on the field um, 
So this is the N9TAX Labs antenna. It's a roll-up J-pole. Awesome antenna. I did a lot of research um, and I found that this one, although it's a little bigger, it's thicker. This is the best performing antenna. So I um, figured if I ever need some more reach, I can throw this up on a tree or whatever and have a decent antenna. Um, so that goes there. Uh, what else? A pen. Um, little Anderson extension cable, nothing fancy. This is just an adapter box, a uh, whole bunch of BNC adapters, uh, SL239, and then a DIY Anderson to Wago um, little power thing, power adapter. Uh, great. So if, for example, if I go and I need to make a cable or I need to um, just whatever, makeshift power adapter or whatever, I strip some of this cable, throw it in here, this clamps in, and then I have Anderson to my radio or whatever else I need. Um, I have about 25 feet of um, BNC cable, just regular whatever, and probably like 25 feet of uh, paracord. What else do I have? A right in the rain notebook. I'll be honest, I'm not a crazy fan of right in the rain. Uh, I know a lot of people love them. Um, I keep them around because, well, I spent a lot of money on these notebooks. I think I bought like a five pack. So I'm, I'm gonna use them, but not crazy about them. And then I have some paperwork, some repeaters. Yeah, a whole bunch of repeaters in my area and a very detailed map of my state. I am from New Jersey. Um, very, very detailed map. All right. And last but not least, the bag itself. So this is not a fancy bag at all. Uh, I purchased this off of Amazon. I'll have the link to everything that I have here in the description. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in the power adapter shown here, uh, let me know. I can either make a video on it or I can just start selling them. Um, I actually have a whole bunch of them already printed that I just need to assemble. Takes up a lot of time. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'd love to hear what I am missing or what uh, you have in your kit. So take care, bye. You know what's better than all of these radios and that radio and even this radio, although kind of. So this is the Anytone 578, it's a DMR radio and you can buy a Bluetooth receiver, this thing. This is a game changer, because I can literally have this over here, and then I can go print a whole bunch of stuff and still talk on radio. Game changer, love it.